What is going on guys? Welcome back to Average Mike's and today we are tackling this door. Sanding, finishing, the works. So stay tuned. What is going on guys? I'm just another Average Mike. And if you've seen my previous video, uh, I promised you a continuation of this product review. Uh, in reality, uh, this door is going to get finished today. So the idea, and as you can see in the last video, we did a little section here. Um, what we're going to end up doing is using this to do the whole door and then probably going back around with uh, some sandpaper just to smooth it up a little bit. It does leave it a little rough uh, on wood. so. Just a little knocking off of the roughness uh, with sandpaper. It should be pretty easy. I just skimmed it a little bit and it, and it looked okay. So, um, yeah, so after we're done stripping this door, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put some uh, gel stain on it and then polyurethane and then we should be looking pretty. So uh, why don't you guys stay tuned and see how this turns out. But right now, I'm gonna get this thing fired up. We're gonna get all this stuff stripped off. we are finished i think prepping this door uh we did run into a snag though first off you saw me with this you also saw me with my air sander um we ran out of media 25 pound box of walnut shell media got me that panel in the bottom of the door um i know in the beginning i wasted a little bit just trying to figure out how to uh, get this thing working continuously but uh still that was i didn't expect to blow through all that so fortunately we had to go back to the sander but what i did find also is that this door is actually a fiberglass door um i thought it was a wood door uh, both sides look like it's wood i mean it's not uncommon to have a wood door but um it is fiberglass as you can tell here uh some of the deeper sand it actually is white so um, these pieces are wood here and here and on the ends and actually it's a little uh, rotted on the bottom there um, We'll have to replace that but um, Ultimately, yeah, this is this is fiberglass. So I think what we're gonna end up doing is painting it black uh, Like the shutters are shutters need to be painted again um, Or need to be repainted. Uh, they're they're getting faded too. So uh, one shot exterior black probably paint this door shutters and all I, I was gonna try to see if the stain would, would but it's just not gonna be even um, it, it's, it's the door is too blotchy um, I did knock all the loose stuff off um, I even you know as you can tell we got down to the fiberglass in some spots uh, it is all smoothed out even though it may not look like it uh, it's it's good enough for paint but stain stains not gonna cut it so uh, unless we replace the door with a new stained door, we're going to have to go to paint. So that's what we're going to do. See how it looks. If we don't like it, then 
you know, maybe we'll look at replacing the door, but uh, these doors are expensive, so I really like not to do that. So, uh, so I do have to run, get paint, get brushes, all the tape and stuff. Um, so for today, this this is going to be the end of for today. We'll get back to it uh, maybe tomorrow. I do have to get a new lock set too. Yeah. So I'll catch you guys on the next day, and we'll start painting. All right, guys. It is another day here, and we are ready to put some gel stain down. Um, I went ahead and sanded some more. Um, if you guys uh, have seen in the video, uh, we did run out of media on the media blaster, uh, but it did well in some places, but not others. Um, like the, the this is wood, it did pretty well with the wood, but with the fiberglass, it did not do so well. Uh, I ended up getting my air sander, this sander, and just kind of running through everything which actually turned out pretty good um, i think we were a little indecisive on what we were going to do uh, i think the last time i was talking to you guys we were doing the uh we were going to end up painting it because it's kind of blotchy and i didn't think the stain would actually look that good but um off camera i did do a little spot right here as you can see and it actually turned out pretty well um i you really can't you, i know where the blotchiness is um so i can see a little bit of it but anybody walking up to the door i don't think you're going to see it um it is something that we can do if we don't like we can go and paint it over it uh, but i do want to give this thing to try first so uh i did tape everything off off camera um took the doorknob and the lock off as well uh, that was fun but we uh, we are ready, like I said, to go ahead and stain. So uh, I have everything I need here on my trash can. Uh, I got the white rags. Uh, I am going to wipe everything down with some wax and grease remover. Uh, just to last, I did blow everything off with the air gun, and but I just want to make sure I uh, get as clean as possible. I got my foam brush, my gel stain, and we laid down some uh, painters drop cloth yeah so uh let's go ahead and start staining this thing we are back here at another day this stain has completely dried i consider doing two coats of stain but um i didn't really want it any darker than what it was um it's not perfect uh obviously we could have did a little more prep work um but i i'm gonna go with it i'm gonna go with the stain um 
and and it, it, it'll look good uh from far away obviously it, it, it looks fine but um you know up close you can kind of see um a little bit of darkness couple spots you know um again it's, it's it beats buying a new door this will last me you know a few more years and i'm happy with that and we'll we'll replace the door next time uh, if there's any issues with having to redo it again, uh, I'll know for next time that we need to just replace the door. So, um, but I, I mean, I'm not trying to downplay it. It does look really good, especially far away. If you were coming up to the door, um, and we'll see what it looks like after we put the polyurethane on, because there are some some shiny spots and, and not so shiny spots. So once we get an even coat of, you know, a, a nice gloss to it, uh, it might hide some of that. But um, like I said, it, it is what it is. I'm I'm happy with it. It'll last a few more years, and um, I'll know in the back of my head now that you know either we have to paint it or um, or buy a new door the next time. So uh, with that, I have my uh, urethane uh, outdoor. It's, it's by Verifane. I can't hold the camera and shift my hand around. I grabbed it on the wrong side, but uh, polyurethane for outdoor use. Uh, we're gonna do two coats with this. Uh, it requires you to do one coat, wait two hours or so, but no more than 24 hours, and then reapply. So I'll probably put the one coat on, maybe reapply uh, off camera the second coat, and then uh, and then we'll get back to you, and that'll be, that'll be it, that'll be in the video. So let's, uh, let's get to work. All right, guys, we finished up this door uh, last night. Uh, I did end up putting four coats. I read the instructions in the can, and uh, I said two coats before. Uh, I did end up throwing on four coats, uh, two hours in between. I finished up the last coat uh, last night before I went to bed, and um, this morning it was completely white because of, I guess, the dew. Um, from the morning, it, it kind of made everything white, but it's... As the sun gets on it, it'll dry that out. Uh, it's already mostly dried out now, so um, it looks it looks good though. We we added you know a few more years to this door. Um, you could do it over again when the time comes as well. It is a fiberglass door, so it's not going to rot. The only problem with with rotting is these center pieces. They're they're wood. Uh, there is a little tiny bit at the very bottom, but um, but yeah, so. Something you could do yourself, didn't take that much to, to do, just, you know, some time, that's the only issue. Uh, we do got a smart deadbolt coming in for this, uh, and I bought a new handle as well, even though it looks the same, um, the, I, I messed up the, the doorknob on the other side. So these are just kind of placed on here uh, for now. So uh, I'll probably do a product review on the smart door lock I choose. It's once it comes in, it's not up here yet, and I wanted to get this video done for you. So, anyway, um, that is going to be it for today's video. If you liked it, please consider subscribing for more videos like this. Um, hit that like button if you would. Uh, comment below and uh, check out our merch store. It's uh, teespring.com forward slash stores forward slash average. All right, catch you guys later.